Hey, what's up guys? Let's do something fun. We're going to be adding a reverb volume to our scene here in Unreal Engine 4. Uh, it's audio related, so why not? So we have our little scene here. I'm going to shoot this gun. It might be a little loud, so just prepare yourself. Hold your breath. You notice that that sound has a like a static kind of reverb to it. That's why we want to change it, because we can't really test this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my blueprints, select my first person character. I'm going to bring it over here. Oh, first I'm going to import my favorite click sound. And that is in here. Click pop 07, right? Go back to my first person character. I'm going to zoom in. Oh yeah, the firing sound, play firing sound. I don't want that one. I want my click and pop right here. Yay. Compile, save, whatever. There we go. Open that up. So now I have a very intimidating firing sound. And the reason I chose this is because there's no reverb on it. There's no kind of delay. There's no big sound. Naturally, uh, gunfire does have uh, a reverb tail to it, as do snares, uh, as an example. So, um, also gives me a, an idea to edit audio so there's no reverb tail, but we'll get into that later. So here we go. There we are. So we have our sound that we want to affect here. I'm going to go, I believe it's called an audio volume right here. We'll just drag that guy in. It's the Y, no, the X, the Y, and the Z axis. Um, not perfect, but you know. Yeah, this is the volume where the reverb will be uh, being affected. So, yeah. So we're going to go back to our content folder. I'm going to right-click and create sounds, a reverb effect. Plop that down there, and I'll just, I won't name it, but I can probably name it Prince Reverb Effect here. And uh, I'm going to leave that. Go back to my audio volume here and go to my reverb drop down and uh, go here and then there's my new reverb effect. I'm going to drop that in and uh, now this is being affected. So what does it sound like? Sounds pretty neat. So we're going to change this reverb effect here. And uh, yeah, you have a few different options here. One thing, the one I'm looking at is the decay time. And this dictates how big the room is. I'm going to go through each one of these controls maybe in a later video, uh, but I just wanted to do this video for fun. So there's the decay time. I'll just move that over there. Decay time, you can increase the decay time in terms of seconds. And uh, we'll hit save, go back to our, oops, go back to our map, open this up, and we should have a longer decay time. Which gives us a better gauge of how large the room is. Now, I'm going to give an idea to Unreal. Maybe they can procedurally generate the reverb volume by, or the, the reverb amount and type by the materials in the room and uh, how big the, uh, the volume is. So 25 meters by 25 meters concrete would have a very large reverb effect. Um, we can adjust something called the, uh, where is that? Reflections, gains, so those are the reflections. A delay. I believe it's, yeah, it's this one. This dictates how, so say if you, you fire the, the clicky gun, the sound goes out, bounces off the walls, and then comes back to you. That will dictate how... Uh, how late and how big the room sounds. So let's give that a try. All right, sounds a little bit better. It sounds like we're in like a metal plate room. I'll increase the. No, wait, that's not it. Which one is it? Reflection. This is that. That. Yeah. Sorry. So the reflection delay is the amount of time it takes for the reflections to occur. So I'll just kind of increase that. Hit save. See what that sounds like. 
So imagine the speed of sound exiting the gun, bouncing off the wall and coming back. It uh, requires a bit more uh, playing around with. So we have that. Increase that. Give ourselves a better scale. So this is useful. So say if you have someone off in the distance that, you know, shoots some something or uh, something blows up, right? You can effectively delay that sound to be more realistic. You know, we all want we all want visual realism in, in our games, but, you know, we expect sound to travel at the speed of light. Anyway, that's that's a different topic. But yeah, that's what that's for. Anyway, this is uh, adding reverb to a volume in Unreal Engine 4. Hope you enjoyed. Take care and have a good one.